Hey Aquarius, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be a reading, your love reading for the second half of September 2020 for the Sun, Moon, Rising, um, and also Venus and Cross Watcher. They're welcome. And let's see what we have for your energy. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius energy? Okay, we have Six of Wands. Okay, so victory. And you're getting your rewards. You're getting noticed. Okay. What do we have for your partner? Oh, your partners. Okay. Wow. I have quite a few here. So we have the Six of Cups. And they have the King of Wands. The King of Swords. Plus the Two of Pentacles. Wow. All right, there might be two people here. Or else it could be their energy that they're coming up very passionate and also they they want to speak. They're very intellectual. We have the, um, this could be Aries, Sagittarius, and um, Leo. And this could be Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And then we have Six of Cups, something from the past. It could be a childhood sweetheart. And also Pentacles trying to balance things out. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. Two people it looks like to you. Or else it's this guy. Or this girl. Um, who has both qualities of both the wands and the swords. Okay, let's see. Also, next one is your thoughts about this person. The person that... Um, your significant other or person you're interested in. What are your thoughts about them? What are your thoughts are? We have the hair of him. Okay, so this could be Virgo. And it's like you're going within very spiritual. I think you think this is a very spiritual connection. Okay, what are their thoughts about you? Your person's thoughts about you now. What are your person's thoughts about you? Oops. Plant fell down. Okay. Your person's thoughts about you. Okay, we have. Okay, now we have the Knight of Cups. And that could be Pisces, Cancer, or um, Scorpio. And then we have Temperance, balancing out. But they want to come and offer you their love. That's their thoughts about you. And they're taking their time. They're, they're waiting for the right time. That's what that feels like. But they are definitely waiting for the right time. Okay, what are your feelings towards your person? What are your feelings towards your person? Feelings towards your person, please. We have, oh, lovers, yep. Connection, soulmate connection, um, could be twin flame. A lot of red, pink over here, a lot of passion. Okay, what is the feelings that your person has towards you? What are the feelings your person has towards you? Okay, what are the feelings your person has towards you? Ooh, the tower. Okay, could be a major change. Um, maybe the tower just came down, or the fact that you are apart. That, um... They feel crushed. Okay, okay. What action are you going to take towards your person? What action are you going to take towards your person? This one? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you want a new beginning in love. Okay, now, what action... Is your person going to take? What action is your person going to take? Oh, shoot. Oop. Here we are. 
the Emperor. Stand in his power. This is Aries. Okay. So he's strong. Authority. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get some more clarification on that. And then Seven of Pentacles working on this connection here. You want a card from here. Passages. Okay, sorry, this is too light for me to read here. It's spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. And so there's this whole relationship is transforming for the better here. And this says change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed. A, cha a change beckons today. Yeah, so there's changes happening. Yeah, you guys. You're going to connect. Okay, a couple more of this. That's what we have here. What else do we have for Aquarius? Aquarius for the second half of September load. Okay, we have communication. Great, you're going to communicate. You're going to get together. You're going to talk. And the fire fairy we have. Creative action optimism. Let's put another one here. Another one, please. For Aquarius and their person. Another one, please. Aquarius and their person. And we have wealth. Wow. Yeah, so abundance is coming in wealth. And on bottom, we have movement. Yes, things are going to start moving. We have movement. Romance angels. What do we have from the romance angels, please? What do we have from the romance angels? We have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Nice. And then we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This sounds very good, Aquarius. And then here we have in the bottom, romance feelings. Your your feelings are real and worth exploring. Nice. Now, and also, um, think of a question you like answered. And I'm going to do um, the angel answers next. That is, um, yeah, I'm going to, um, so just think of a question and in the end I'll pull a card on that to see what answer we come up with. Let's do a little clarification on these. So the six of wands. Why did six come wands come up for your energy? Why did the six of wands come up for your energy, Aquarius? We have seven of swords. Okay, I think in the past. I don't think this person was telling the truth. They're very sneaky. Or they also could be, at this point, spying on you. Maybe watching on the, um, online or um, driving by your house. But um, this guy doesn't look too bad, though. He doesn't look as, as creepy. Um, and he's leaving a couple swords behind there. He's almost looking like maybe... Almost feels like he's taking these swords away because when he does speak with you. He doesn't want you using them on him. So I'm going to take another card though. A little more on that. A little more clarification on the, the Six of Wands. I'm trying to hide something and then we find out the truth. What else do we have? Oops, here we go. Okay, the sun. Yes. See, this I, This does feel more of a past energy. So in here with this, with the Six of Wands, and then the sun. Yeah, this is turning out for the better. Okay, how about all these cards that we have for their energy? Can get a little more clarification on that. More clarification, please, for Aquarius' person on their energy. 
need clarification for your energy, please. Need clarification for your energy, please. So it's the full new beginning. And if you have a new beginning with this person. Okay, and how about the hair event for your thoughts about them? More clarification on why we got the hair event for your thoughts about them. Two here. Oh, three. Six of Cups. So now you have the Six of Cups too. So you both are connected with the past. King of Swords want communication and Four of Cups. So thinking about the lost love, I think. If you want to bring this back together. You may make an offer you don't think it's enough. Okay, now for the... I'm oh, sorry. I wanted... To, I was supposed to go that way. But the star. Yeah, so the lovers, the star. And that's you, the star. So it looks really good. And then we'll go over to this side. And go for their thoughts. About you. We have Seven of Pentacles. Yes, they want to work on this. They definitely want to work on this. And um, their feelings towards you. What are their feelings? Need more clarification on their feelings towards you, please. And more clarification on their feelings. Ooh, whoa, that's too many. I just, was just felt like I was just being sloppy. Okay. Here we go. Judgment. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah, the tower came down. I think they they feel like you are judging them or maybe had a reason to judge them and whatever happened in the past. Um, I want another card, please. The tower and judgment. Another card to clarify the tower and judgment. But you're rejoicing. These people are rejoicing. So what's happening with this? Okay, Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on this. And um, they have a lot of passion for you. Nine of Wands. Yeah, and I also feel like they, um, they want to protect this relationship. They don't want anyone else to get you. <laughs> That's what it feels like there. Okay, and now for the Ace of Cups, for your action towards them. More clarification on your action towards them. This. So we have three of wands and three of cups. Yes, there's going to be movement towards towards you or you're going to move towards them and you want to celebrate. Have a reunion, happy or ever have to go out. You know, I think they yeah, want to go out to dinner, have a good time. Okay, now how about this emperor? I want to know more about the emperor coming for the action. Maybe it's, it feels more like he's being poised. He's taking his time. Okay, the Empress. Whoa. Okay. It could go either way, but he's... This one's your Emperor, and you're the Empress, or vice versa. You are a power couple. And then we have these two cards. Seven of Wands, the Devil, and the Prince of Swords. Yeah, I think there's he, this one's worried about competition. Um, he's very fixated on you, or she's very fixated on you. And um, wants to communicate. Okay, and at the bottom we have the Emperor again. Wow, here's the Tower again here. And the wheel. So things are changing. They're different changing. Okay, now for your the answer to your question. Now oh, this is a oh yeah, you guys are definitely twin flames, soulmates, a power couple, definitely a power couple. In your past lives, I definitely feel past lives here, and you both know it. I don't know if they knew it before, and I don't think you were positive about it right away, but. Now you both really know it. You feel it. Okay, so whatever your question is, what's the answer to Aquarius's question here? What's the answer to Aquarius's question? 
we have remain positive okay that's very good and we have there's something better and I think there is there's something better coming here with this relationship better than it was before well Aquarius I hope you liked your reading please like share and subscribe and I hope to see you again real soon thank you